a drink now and listen to the let's watch. Just grab a drink now and listen to the let's watch. Just grab a drink now and listen to the let's watch. Yeah, it's the let's watch us. Welcome, welcome to a podcast where you die. Holy shit, dude! Don't scare them. <laughs> what the fuck, Justin? Holy fuck! <laughs> what is this? What are you trying to do yes. to them, Justin? <laughs> it's supposed to be a fun podcast where you screw around and joke around, not kill people. Jesus Christ! Look at the cover, bud. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> it's it's crazy. There's blood everywhere. What the fuck, dude? Welcome, welcome to Let's Watchers. I'm Justin. I'm Adam. We're like kind of professionals, if you would. Professional Let's Watchers, I'd say. I'd say we're professional by now. You got your Let's Players? We're the Let's Watchers. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, should we continue where we left off? I was talking about Casper, or should I save that to the middle of the podcast? Nah, what fuck it. That's old news. <laughs> <I'm> s- <laughs> oh, we gotta just start with it before you forget. This guy's been studying what he has to say. Well, I, I, I <laughs> have fuck, to sir. Can you guys, let me know. I can't hear you, sir. What? I can't hear you. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, right, sorry. <laughs> I'll bounce the Skype, guys. But uh, I was saying last time we yeah. Casper. We're talking about recording, right? And I was talking about Casper. And there's a fun fact yeah. to, to the listeners that haven't watched our YouTube channel yet. That uh, we're, I mean, Justin's yeah. supposed to get tattoos together. Well, I'm supposed to get it. He's joining in we'll after. Explain, he ex- yeah, so uh, we did the game Odds Are. As a joke, I brought it up. On, we're watching Casper, and I said, "What are the odds, Adam? What are the odds you get a Casper tattoo?" Between one and twenty-five. <laughs> you said twenty-five, so I'm like, no, okay. I said fifteen. Oh, you said fifty first. Remember? No, you said odds I, are between one and twenty-five, and then. Oh no! Odds are one at fifty, no, right? One at twenty-five. Oh wait, odds what? Odds are one at twenty-five. Oh, it's twenty-five. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> he goes, odds are between 1 and 25, <laughs> you're going to get a Casper tattoo. So, you guys will see it. You'll see it in our video. So, he goes, we both say 1, 2. We both say 15 at the same Two. time. This yeah. bastard over here had to say 15 at the same time as me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you don't know the game, basically, you say the same number, you have to do it now. Exactly. So, you count down, you say 1, 2, then you say the number you want to say, yep. right? And if it's, it could be between 25, 30, 50, 100, 1,000, a million, whatever you want to say. So we did between 1 whatever and 25. You, you picked the odds, yeah. So I said 1 and 25 like an idiot. I should have said a bigger number because you both say 15. <laughs> and now <laughs> I have to get <laughs> well, a Well, yeah, it's a tattoo. tattoo. You'd think you'd go like a little bit higher, but I was like, all right, uh, 25. So I thought in my head, I'm like, what would he say? What would Adam say? It sounds like a 15. Yeah. Right, fuck it, let's go with 15. Fuck it, he knows me too well, man. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> but he did agree. But, uh, anyways, I was nice enough. I was nice enough. I said, maybe uh, <laughs> I'll get the tattoo too if we get it with a fan as well. Like, So I'm matching tattoo cast. That's right. Me and Justin, we want to, like, when we get bigger, hopefully sooner than later, when we get bigger, we'll definitely do the tattoo that was yeah. promised from the video. But we want to do it with a fan. So that'd be pretty dope to do with a big fan. Yeah. I think, we think. I think, yeah. And you cool. know what? That'd be pretty cool. Experience. Like, if I got a tattoo with, like, one of my favorite, like, YouTubers or, like, celebrity people, that sounds pretty cool. And Justin has experience in tattoos. If you guys don't know me very well, oh, yeah. I, I don't have, have any tattoos. tattoos at all. Zero, none, nada. And I'm scared of needles. Well, you have you have the one tattoo, the, the swastika. <laughs> no, I don't! <laughs> I don't have any tattoos. What the fuck, Justin? No, I do not, guys. I do not have a, ta- I do not have a tattoo of that on my skin. It's, it's on his right shoulder. No, it's not. Like, want to know. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> but, yeah, I have to get a Casper but, tattoo. Yeah. I don't know what, like, how we're going to do it, what the design is. Yeah, I don't know, too. I don't know. Fan. Yeah, cause, yeah, exactly, because it's going to be uh, us three having the tattoo of Casper. But, like, I, want, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know. Well, I think you should put it right on your forehead. Yeah, it's perfect, eh? <laughs> Big Casper tattoo. <laughs> the little bastard Does it say Casper in it? <laughs> and then it says, it has a speech bubble. It says, <laughs> like in the movie, it's a quote from the movie. Casper says, can I keep you? So uh, <laughs> I'll have that in the speech bubble. It says, can I keep you? 
And so that's Casper saying exactly, it. Exactly, and we'll make it like a really, really noticeable on your forehead. I don't know if you ever seen. I saw this video a long time. You saw this guy went up to a random lady on the street. It's like, if we, how much would it cost like for us to pay you to get a tattoo on your forehead that says our company name? See not. Yeah, I think I forgot how she did it for. I think it was two thousand five hundred or five thousand dollars, something like that. That's crazy. She has this fucking big tattoo for life with this company name. And he on gave it. her the money. So dumb. And she was a cute girl too. It's so dumb. It's like, why? Why would you get that tattoo? Well, some people might need money at the end of the day, bro. Feel bad, but it's what it is. He sh- yeah, he's a dick for doing that it too. Is. He's a douche. Yeah. Like, why would you do that? I know they. Sh- yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> he's just taking advantage of people. No. But it's smart marketing. That that sign's there forever. That's right. That's his personal. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to pay for advertising. He just. <laughs> Calls her, come for a walk with me. They're like, anyone that like sees her, like, what is that tattoo? Like, oh, it's this company. No, <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's a company. You guys should check promotion. it out. She should get royalty on that tattoo, Pre-pro- eh? Permanent royalty. You get a certain amount yeah, of money a should. month or a day or even a day. What the hell for that? She gets, she get like five thousand bucks yeah. a day. Actually, Justin, I just got an idea. Yeah, a you question. Want to pay people to put no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea for a question. I would never do that to someone. Okay, yeah. Would <laughs> you get a tattoo on your forehead if you're getting royalty money daily? No. What if someone said five thousand bucks a day? No. I don't care. Money's not like money's not that important. Like money's good to have. Like honestly, it'd make life better. But uh, I don't want to change my face. I think I would. Cause I'll be fu- like you have to look in the mirror every day. You see your face like. Tattoo, so nah, I'm wearing a hat right now. Just thinking face tattoos, me. no Look, offense. Face tattoos, wear a hat like this, bro. Nah, five nah. G's a day. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, don't I know, know that's a lot. That's a fucking lot of money. I would love to have that much five, money. Five, ten, fifty, like thirty-five grand a week, bro. That'd be crazy. I know, but fuck face tattoo. I don't know what kind of what kind of tattoo. That's is a it? question too. I don't know. Like any like okay, any type of tattoo would you do for five grand a day? Like not as bad. I don't know. It's I'm not tough. saying get out. I don't know. Fuck. I'm not saying you get anything racist or anything like that. Because obviously I need money. Head, of course. I'm just saying, like, if you have to get, like, um, an yeah. Xbox controller. What would I get? Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> For five grand no, a day? No. I use Zook, Xbox. Are you crazy? <laughs> a controller. Never. I would never get any, like, any gaming thing. Because I do love video games and shit. But not on your body. I would get, you know what, what I get? get? You can't choose, you bastard. You're getting, you're getting paid to do it. You just <laughs> <laughs> if I'm gonna get paid, if I'm gonna get paid, I'll put, I'll, uh, I'll put, um, fuck. I'm looking around my room for. Anything. I know you have you two things right there: Ghostbusters, your blanket, and your poster on your wall. Would you get that tattooed on your forehead? Yeah. No, maybe I don't know. For five grand a day, uh, that'd be funny I'm story. Like, Where are you fucking? No, no. Yeah, I got this Ghostbuster, but now I get paid every day. That's exactly. Yeah, that's someone good. says, "Oh, you're an idiot for that." Are you getting five grand a day? Oh, get f- no. That's right, fucker. <laughs> that's right. <I'm> like, <laughs> Here's a toonie. Tired of minimum wage. It's time to uh, get paid. <laughs> <laughs> just get a tattoo. So who who is this? Um, who's paying me? I'm just saying. I'm just throwing a random idea. <laughs> out there. Okay. It's not me. <laughs> How are they affording this? Fuck. <laughs> Five grand a day? Five G's a day, bro. And then... But it's like... So I, I just got the tattoo once and then I'm getting paid forever? Royalty. Unless you get it removed, of course. You get it removed, you can't. What? That's not part of the rules. It's not part of the contract. I can get it removed. Well, I didn't make the contract, so it could be any type of contract. <laughs> I signed. I signed. I looked over the contract. I had a couple... My legal team looked at it, too. Really? It says... It doesn't say anything about removing it, so... Holy fuck. Therefore... I just beat the system. You did. Congratulations, guys. Justin beat the system and you five grand a day for the rest of his life. But it hurts a lot. And the (laughs) surgery to do that, the removal, it's going to take a while, take years. It would. So, how about you tell everyone about (laughs) how you got your tattoos, your stories about them? I mean, I I don't don't know a story. I I, I drew it and I was like, oh, I'll get this. And then, well, it was a family friend. What's your story? Talk about the ghost one? The ghost one I drew this. This is a cartoon show I have an idea for. Reminds you though. So I was like, that because um, I was, my cousin was getting tattooed. I was like, fuck it, because I'm gonna I'm going with them anyways. I'm like, I want to get tattooed too. So I just picked my cartoon character because it's original. That's sick. Nobody has this. Nobody knows him. 
<laughs> Who's that ghost you want on your arm? Yeah, I know. When people see it, they just like, oh, is that a Ghostbusters guy? I'm like, no. That's true. I guess it kind of does remind you of Ghostbusters. Like, it's not, actually. It is a ghost. It is a phantom. It is pretty sick. It's sick that you drew it, too. Thank you. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. He did it the exact same way I drew it, which is... It's cool, I guess. <laughs> you got two <laughs> tattoos, right? right? You got one on your forearm. Yeah. My Portugal with the eagle on top. Jeez. That's pretty sick. They hurt it all? Let's go. Did they huh? hurt it all? These are... Uh, no, the first one was actually that bad. I, I actually recorded my whole self. Like, I recorded myself getting the tattoo. Just smiling, laughing, talking. And then the second one, the ghost one hurt a lot, actually, though, more. I don't know why. I just... It was painful, but, like, not nothing I can't handle, but... Yeah, I, the best way I can explain is, like, someone had a hot pencil, a really hot pencil, scraping you, kind of. Yeah, fuck that. See, that's why I don't get tattoos. <laughs> yeah, but it's not that bad. It's not, this one, that wasn't, like, the, the Portugal one didn't feel anything. It just felt like it's a little bit, like, I don't know. A little, a little scrape. A little scrape. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. Good. But I guess um, you got to go in thinking it's going to be really painful because when... After the first one, I was like, oh, dude, it's not even painful at all. And then the second one, I'm like, holy fuck. I, I remember not hurting. What the hell? Because <laughs> he had so much adrenaline the what? first time. That's what it was. Yeah, and this one, I was like, yeah, it's not going to hurt at all. So it's nothing. And I'm like, oh, fuck. It actually hurts a lot. It's like, I feel like you're cutting my skin. See, now I'm scared for the Casper tattoo. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, guy. He's supposed to tell me it didn't hurt at all. Like, you're going to be okay. No, this guy says there's a hot pencil burning his skin. <laughs> Now I'm scared. Yeah, shitless. it's like someone scraping you, cutting your skin thank open. Thank you, thank you. Thank yeah, you thank that's you what that. it is. Get it's a now. scar. It's an open scar. A tattoo is an open scar with the ink permanently staying there, right? Because for each layer of your that's skin. That's true, but still. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for getting me all excited, Justin. Now you're, I'm really excited to get this Casper You're tattoo. welcome. Hyped, eh? <laughs> The yeah, but hey, you know um, what? Did we? I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but if you're interested and you want to get the tattoo with us, let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I guess we have to figure out how it's gonna work or, or pick a random person. Yeah, we'll pick. I mean, the people will say they want it. I'm gonna pick those people and the people that don't want it, of course, right? So, why? What if we want to pick someone who doesn't want then it? And they have to do it. We're dragging we'll them with that? us. <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <Yeah. laughs> we'll carry them, man. You're coming. You're coming to the tattoo. We just show up at their place. We'll get. You're coming with us. <laughs> oh my God, Justin Adam. Yeah, you're coming with us. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> you're coming with us. <laughs> you're getting a tattoo with us right now. Get in the car. No seatbelt. No safety here. No safety. <laughs> Why? <laughs> said no safety. Yeah, I just made I made a joke. I guess it wasn't that funny, but anyways. So it's very dangerous. Actually, I know. Bro. Guys, wear your seatbelts as you drive. I'm just kidding. Um. Any. Anyways, anyways guys, what? check this out. What? So it's 2021, right? It's 2021. All year. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So listen. Listen. Listen here. Okay. So. A lot, <laughs> a lot of movies uh, got delayed and stuff from last year, and it never came out. Unfortunately, right? it's sad. I know, it's sad. I, I, but I got a fifty dollars gift card still for the movie theater. Never used it yet because fucking world's destroyed and the theaters are gone. They're closed. Okay, well, the know? world's not it's destroyed, actually. but there's a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> the, the world's, world's, the world's not getting destroyed. Right right <laughs> the world's on flames as I know it. So. Feels like it. <laughs> yeah, so I can't use that, but um. A lot of movies, they, 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 they promised us. They said, hey, guys, uh, it's going to come out this year. We'll, we'll see. We'll hope. And I'm looking forward to some. There's some there's some good ones. I'm, I'm excited. Like, Obviously, I cannot wait. Because on my wall, I got, my, I got The Conjuring poster. It's one of my favorite horror movies. My favorite modern horror movie, I'd say. And, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, where are you going? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, Conjuring 3 is supposed to come out this year, oh. guys, right? Okay, that's where you're getting So I'm hyped for that. A little worried about it because uh, James Wan's not directing this one, but he's producing it. And uh, I know a lot of people are iffy. A lot of people are, like, worried because um, you got who's directing it is the guy who did La Llorona. And um, La Llorona didn't do so well in the box office. Or, like, a lot of people didn't like it. I've watched it in theaters. Literally, it was me, my cousin Nick, Josh, and friend Chris. And there was like maybe one person in the back, I think. It was, it was an empty theater, basically. But it was, it felt scarier because there was like no one here in this big dark area. That's this, how you know it's a shitty room. movie if there's no one in the theater but like five people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but it was cool. It was decent. I liked it. But like, 
he's good with the scares i would say but the i don't know just the way the movie was made for la llorona i guess it, it shouldn't be i don't know if it's the director because like he didn't write the fucking movie i think so he's just doing what they give him that's right? true it could be a sick movie yeah so if james wan is trusting um this guy i don't know his name sorry but if he's trusting him with the conjuring last conjuring movie the third one the Devil's at Your Door? Wait, no, what's it called? The Devil's Knocking? The Devil's Rocking Chair? Or some shit some like that? Some shit like that. Oh, The Devil Made Me Do It. The Devil Made Me Do It. Anyways, we saw the real chair in real life at Zach Bagan. Zach Bagan. Museum. Haunted Museum. So they're making a movie on that because the court case. It's the first time in a court case there's ever the excuse of like using like, oh, like a demon, like a devil made him do it. Yeah, like, excess, he didn't kill. Yeah, using the possession as Yeah, it's um, crazy. He's possessed, evidence. right? Yeah, exactly. So it, it's a whole court case. They have to prove like. So I don't know how the movie's gonna work. I don't know how I don't know how it's gonna be. Well, I, like, if they don't know, I know is, no. It's the only court case, at, or I don't know if it's the only one right now, but it's the first court case ever where using a possession as evidence won the case. Yeah, it won. Yeah, they so won in court. Don't spoil the movie, sir. Why are you spoiling the movie for me? I'm not spoiling it. It's like known. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Dude, yeah, it's sick. I, I don't know. You never know. Like, that'd be sick. Yeah. I mean, you got you guys to spoil the movie for you guys. I mean, that's what happens. They go to court and they're going to win, but I'm going to tell you. They, um, <laughs> Based on a true story, like it happened already. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, but I, you never know what happened in the movie. Oh, they could change know. things up. They could lose the case, which would be shitty. <laughs> 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 no, imagine. Uh, no, but yeah, you got, you got Ed and Lorraine Warren. Um characters there so it's gonna it's gonna be good i'm excited super duper Hyped. excited duper duper i think i believe i think it's coming out in june i think and i don't know if there's gonna be theaters or not but apparently you uh the americans are lucky they have hbo max so they get to see it on there if you're american you're lucky if it's not it yeah if, so if it doesn't go to theaters or whatever or if it does but the theaters are not opened then you get to see it by streaming it i guess but yeah, then you got you got Candyman, okay? You got you got Halloween Kills, which is supposed to come out last year. Finally, they James Jason Blum from Blumhouse, the guy, the myth, the man, the legend, the legend. I can't speak. The sorry. legend. Yeah, so he said it's for sure coming out no matter what. Like it's coming out because they can't delay it any longer because the th- the fucking Halloween ends is coming out next year. So they have to do it somehow, some way. Yeah, it's back to back. Yeah, so you can't push anymore, you know. And I don't know. I don't know if y'all know. I don't know about you, Adam, but the the Chucky TV series. There's a Chucky TV series coming out. I didn't even know that. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, dude, they're... So I was hyped because they're filming in Toronto. But they were going to film, I think, in March, and that's when the fucking... Or in May, but then the pandemic happened, so they couldn't come to Canada, and they couldn't... Fuck. So I don't know, I don't know when that's being made now, because I don't know when they're going to be allowed back in Canada to film it. No, I want to be filming Canada. That'd be sick. We can go and go see the, go see Chuck and the Doll. See how he's doing. Give him a glass of whiskey or something. From let's watch it. <laughs> it'd be sick. Yes, yeah, so I, I want to see. I want to see the show, yo, because it, it it does go with the original series. Like it's related to like in the same movie um, thing. So is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm no expert, but uh, I hear things. Do you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I watch videos. I watch videos on YouTube. That's true. That's true. YouTube. YouTube. That's what we do. YouTube. I know it's crazy. Is it? YouTube's the best though. <laughs> like I, I hate and love YouTube. Like YouTube's awesome. Tell you some know? hates. Like, Why do you hate I've, YouTube? Cause YouTube's fucking stupid sometimes. Like they're. I don't know what they're doing over there. Like I, I get it's this AI. Um, they can't. They have no control on the fucking website now. Susan. <laughs> but anyway, Susan started YouTube in her garage, so that's pretty cool. And now look at it. Her and two other friends. Yeah, dude, Google bought it and fucked it. Yeah, there oh, you go. That's true. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, Google also helped to make it, to make money for it, like because back then, like I don't think YouTube was not making money at all, so Google had to buy it anyways. Oh, they did some good things, bad things, and then just the ad apocalypse, everything kind of screwed everything. Changing YouTube, try to make it more family oriented. It's so stupid. Because, like, I think YouTube should be anything you want to do. That's the platform. But they're trying to... Now, also... Okay, now I also hate YouTube because they try to get the mainstream actors involved and stuff. They're trying to, trying to like, basically scrape out, yo, fuck you, YouTubers. I don't give a fuck. It's true. And then the OGs sometimes, but then they... Yeah, I don't they're know. They're trying to get... They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't care as it, much about the content creators as much as they used to. Yeah. That's something I That's noticed. why I feel like they don't care about the creators anymore. 
That's sad. Because if you know back then on YouTube, YouTube used to say broadcast yourself. And they took that out because they're like, yeah, we don't want you broadcasting yourself anymore. We want these celebrities who don't give a shit about YouTube. But That's yeah, true. They used to say broadcast dude, yourself. I remember what? that. Yeah, dude, YouTube's crazy. I mean, it's been it's been over a decade, so YouTube's changing, and you gotta just, like, ride the wave, I guess. It's crazy how, like, speaking from, like, personal experience, us experience on YouTube, like, we swear in our videos, we joke around, and just because if we say yeah. a couple swear words, the algorithm won't pick us up as much as if someone Yeah, I don't know how swear. it works, because people could be doing the same videos as us, and they just get picked up in the algorithm. I assume they don't swear. I don't know. I think I so. We haven't watched them enough. Some but we'll, like, for example, we'll do a movie. Someone else does a movie. Or the reaction channels, commentary channels, I should say, also do the movie. Then, Jeez, yeah, they, they, their, their views get like 50,000, 100,000 us. It's we don't crazy. get near the yeah, amount. I, know, it's I, I don't know. I think it's because we swear. It's unfair how YouTube swearing. doesn't, you know, put us out there. Yeah. I know. It's... it's it, it's sad to see that it's almost like i don't want to see because it's like i don't know i feel unfair but whatever i guess it is what it is no we you know what i can't complain about what we've done so far we're growing some awesome fans some good people no i, I know don't change those people exactly plus i'm not complaining because this is the biggest i ever grown a channel like all my other channel stuff like never had stuff like this so this is the best but it just it sucks to see um <laughs> People could start in like a week from now. They could just start their channel a week ago, and they're already like a hundred thousand subscribers. I know, it's crazy. but I don't yeah, care. you know, and we put in so much work with our. We have a whole set. It takes like two hours to set yeah, up. Yeah, put a lot of time. Put a lot of time into the production. Production stuff. Like editing. It's, it's a, like we do a lot of work. In our we editing. try our best. We always try to do. Yeah, try to do everything the best we can and try to make thumbnails it look good. Exactly, it looks as professional as can be. Yeah, writing like the thumbnails. The thumbnails I could, if I wanted to, I could just do like. The, a certain way like a lot not not taking shots at other youtubers have. i i could just do like the easier route where you just simpler um thumbnails but sometimes i just have that vision i like it so it, it takes me hours a couple hours to get a thumbnail going like to make it look and good it looks but sick because he photoshops us i like it because it looks the movies looks like cool. it's so interesting like we do a friday 13th i don't know did we we mentioned this right in the podcast did we i don't know well, i think With the so, reflection yeah, did the reflection in the water and so yeah like i'm not i'm not a professional graphic designer or anything like i just i did what i know how to use photoshop i just learned throughout the years just playing around with it I'm like i'm not the best and like it's not perfect pictures because like at the end of the day it's like you gotta get it ready for within the week and uh usually like i i don't remember how many thumbnails i did in a couple days where i was like okay i'll come back to it to work harder usually i try to get it done with a couple hours like within the same day because usually I am like okay wait what what videos come out this week and then I'm like okay and then I got, I can't just make the thumbnail I have to look around first gotta see what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna use because sometimes some like especially older movies like it's hard to get a good picture of it so it's like fuck I'm gonna have to do like complete scratch just make a brand new like make my own background and make my own thing and get characters from that and Photoshop it but sometimes the best ones it's a little easier is to just get a screenshot from the movie like a picture from Google and then put it into yeah. it and then just like i'm running out i'm running out of photos of us and yeah we can't see each other because also of COVID. right now it's bad the photos we took it makes it harder for me that's why it takes longer to get it done because we're wearing like white basically in a white background so to cut it out it's well, yeah the tough. light pink shirts the one that we have <laughs> the light pink ones don't say yeah like so us. literally when i yeah when i cut us out i literally have to i have to cut us out with the pen tool then i gotta use eraser and brush off the edges but like where it makes it more smooth, so it's not. So like, yeah, Go it's, into detail, it's a lot of work, yeah. but uh, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it, though. Well, it makes a better experience. It makes it look better to the channel. Like we look like you see our channel, it looks like we have like a million. Yeah, subscribers. we're very, okay. our um our production is really good. Like, like we put like little PNG pictures in our movie commentary, and when we're so we like I put pictures so we explain what yeah. we're talking about, like try to make it funnier. We put we try to put as much production as we can. To look as professional as we yeah. can, right? That's important. Yeah, exactly. It just, just because then people could tell, like, when you put more work into it, like, okay, you could tell, like, they're passionate or they put in the work in. It looks good. Right? That's true. Uh, that always helps. Well, uh, sorry, what, sorry, what timer yet? Because I, I don't have a timer. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. I, we're good. We're good. Check it. Check it, bro. Okay. Okay. We're bad, good. We're bad, good. Guys. We're about halfway through the. <laughs> we're about halfway through the podcast. 
Anyways, guys, we just we record two videos today. We watch Wonder Woman and n- Return to the Blue Lagoon. That's right. <laughs> what you think about what you think what you think about Wonder Woman? Well, I'm gonna say something about Blue Lagoon video one. first because this podcast is gonna come up before any of the Blue Lagoons, so I don't want to talk too much about yeah. that and spoil anything. About the Blue Lagoon? Yeah, because the Blue Lagoon's not going to be out next week. No, I know. So I don't want to spoil be on, it. For soon them. on the Patreon, but yeah. But uh, for Wonder Woman, I'm not going to spoil, of course, too, but I that movie was... Was fucking amazing, eh? I was going <laughs> to say fucking, but it was fucking boring. <laughs> so boring. It was Oh, super- my God. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Justin. Let her rip. Let her rip. Dude, it was... <laughs> <laughs> it was... It was just... Alicia, so, Justin. What I like to say. Justin. Very long. Very long movie. Oh, my God. It's like... I'm sorry. DC, what the fuck are you guys doing, guy? All right? You have one good movie. You got, you got Wonder Woman. Everyone's like, yo, this is sick. All right, DC could be maybe doing some good shit. Now you guys... You're going back to the same shit where it's just like generic, boring villain and just... Sorry. I don't know. It was, you, I can't even consider... Was that a villain? Was that a villain? This guy's granting everyone's fucking wish. So... Now that I think about it... Wait a minute! This movie's worse than I thought. Yeah, <laughs> I was being nice in the video. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> I was saying, I said to Justin in the full commentary on our Patreon. I was saying to him, I was like, "Dude, the thing about this movie, the difference between DC yeah. and Marvel is DC built up their franchise <laughs> over like ten years, yeah. over ten years." Yeah, I was watching that shit since I was in high school and didn't finish those in my twenties. Exactly, we you grew up I mean? with it. Everyone, yeah. And DC's like, "Oh, look what Marvel's doing! They've already made, let's say, ten movies." Let's try to catch up to them. So they made like a couple shitty yeah. movies. Then boom, Justice <laughs> yeah. League. You're like, no, you can't do that, man. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't rush it. Marvel put so many years into it. Like I know, it's like Marvel movies. I'm sorry, it's like an event when you go. Oh, they're they're awesome. DC man, you're like the only like my okay. The only movie I'll say oh like it's really good in the DC is The Dark Knight. Obviously, oh. so good. I don't know why they couldn't just do movies like that, but. Anyways, yeah, DC, they, they drop the ball a lot, and they can't pick it up. Like Now, their hands have butter, and they can't fucking pick it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're dropping the soap. They're dropping the soap. <laughs> so, so like I was going to say, so i never yeah. seen the first Wonder Woman. Justin gave me so much shit for it. i never seen the first one. Anyways, and apparently, guys, it was good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was really good. I was like, you know what, DC? Might be stepping to the right direction now, finally. And then I watched they the lie. second They're one. They're joking. They're fucking The fuck was us. that, yeah. man? It's Guys, I don't want to spoil it, guys. I don't want to spoil it, but... Guys, the villain is shitty, okay? It's a shitty villain. It's a genie! It's a fucking genie, my guy. Okay? This guy's a, yeah, he, like, you have Marvel. You have oh, Thanos. Your fucking wish! Dude, you have Thanos and Marvels. You have Ultron. You have... Who the fuck is this guy? And then you have a guy who's this guy? Who's this What the fuck is that? I don't even know who... He was a normal guy that was selling, um... Was selling, uh... <laughs> gold... To crack <laughs> <laughs> that thousand or commentary is what we said. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know the villain. Is he a famous villain? Do people know him? I don't know because I don't know the comics. I know. I don't know. So I have no idea. DC. Yeah, like I have no fucking idea. It was. I don't know. The movie was too long, by the way. Too. It was way too long. Okay. A little boring. That movie here. should have been an Dragged hour and fifteen minutes tops. Because the ending was pretty good. I'll yeah. Be, if you, if you, or in our full commentary, we were really into the ending. Like, we're like, yeah. oh, you can tell you were into it. Kind of. <laughs> but, like, oh, my <laughs> God. The build-up was unfucking believable Like, come on. Come on. You didn't need yeah. all that build-up. Like, oh, they go to eat. I can't. I don't want to spoil it, just, guys. It's unbelievable. Just so you, The ending is basically... Oh, actually, yeah, I don't want to spoil the movie. Um, I'm going to... Well, we kind of did spoil the movie. I'll put actually, in the title. Uh, if there's some spoilers in here. Also, yeah, it was... Chris Pine, everyone, not not uh, oh Matt Damon. Oh my god, so. I almost forgot about that. Justin, we're, Justin <laughs> whole, was saying it's Matt Damon movie. the whole movie. It's Matt it's Damon. fucking Chris Pine. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, everyone has to have that um that mistake, of course. Yeah, we take a lot of L's and let's watch it, and we uh we love them. We hug those L's. I take them. Justin takes them. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm gonna I'm definitely hang it out on my shelf. I'm gonna put the L right up there. It's gonna look it's gonna look good for real. I was hoping you get a tattoo of it. A tattoo of Chris Pine or something. Oh, it. <laughs> I can't. I get, I right, can't. Yeah, get what are you odds you get a tattoo of Chris Pine? <laughs> nah, I'm not doing it. Nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, what, what are the odds, sir? Fuck off, okay. <laughs> you t- get a tattoo of Chris Pine. Are you serious right now? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. Doing <laughs> I'm doing one in a hundred. I'm doing one in a hundred. Okay, one out of a hundred? 
Okay, no, I'm okay, nervous, no, right now. I'm nervous take- Casper. I fucking <laughs> have to take Casper. I can't get Chris Pine. I cannot get Chris Pine. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have the number in my head. Holy fuck. You think the number no, I'm I'm scared, no, I'm shaking. <laughs> Ready? Okay. So we're gonna go we're gonna go one, two and say the number. Okay. Ready? Go. One, one two, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna go, ready? One, two, two, 36! Nah, oh, oh, you okay. bastard, well, I you... gave you this time. <laughs> I didn't do the cast for Yeah, you wanted to get Chris Pine tattooed on me, didn't you? You are hoping I'd say 36. Uh, <laughs> I know, I really, really thought. Dude, I was like, I was like, my heart was pounding for a second. I was like, okay, okay, <laughs> I gotta think of a number. Like, what if he says that number? Like, there's a 1% chance that he's gonna say my what number. Was your, what was your number? 20, 20 what? Huh? There's a one percent chance number? that he's gonna say my num my uh, the same number as me. No, I'm saying your number. What was the number you said? Twenty what? Sixty two. Oh, you said sixty two. Oh, I just okay, said a random number that no one would think of. Like that's such a random number. I was like sixty two. <laughs> fuck. If you said sixty two we'll again, then like I'll get it tomorrow. <laughs> like whatever. But yeah, Wonder Woman though. Um, people, like, uh, a lot of people didn't whoa, like whoa, that whoa, whoa, it, and whoa, I can see whoa. why. Where do you think you're going? Now it's your turn, you bastard. You like, I, I know I get some You guys talking, buddy? Now you it's crazy? your turn. Chris Pine. Oh, it's over two once a in Chris a one hundred. Chris Pine That's right. Huh? Cat, uh, yeah, at a hundred. Whenever you're ready. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? One, two, 96. six. I said 96. Okay. You said 6? I just said 6, yeah. Imagine I said 6? <laughs> oh, my God. I should have just said 6 instead of 96. Oh, my God. That's our birth year. Uh, yeah, you can't think of anything. Huh? That's our birth year. That's why I said 96. Yeah. Imagine I said Imagine 6. Imagine I said that. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? I originally, I was going to pick a number in the 90s, but then I was like, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with low number. I was going to say 5 or 6, and I went. I was like, That's fuck, awesome. I'll go with 6. Yeah, I would not say low. I was going to say, I, yeah. Yeah, cause I was gonna go. I was gonna go. With, I was gonna go high. I was gonna go like ninety nine. I was gonna See, say. Something. When you first said six, I thought you like, I thought you said the same number as me. I heard six. I I said six. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I said not. He just said six. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, dude, that's Chris Pine, not Matt, not Matt Damon. Not Matt but Damon. yeah. Damn, I wish you, I wish, I wish one of us had to get a tattoo of the fucking guy. That'd be funny. <laughs> Are you crazy? Can you get a tattoo of Chris Pine? Like, where would you Pine? get him? I, like, where, where would I get him? Like, I just got like Chris <laughs> Pine. Fuck sakes, I don't know. It'd be like my left arm. I probably get him like somewhere not noticeable. I'll get him in. A, I'd get him in like a picture frame too, like a gold picture frame. Would you? I don't want to get him, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm scared of tattoos in the first place. Like. Can you get like no, but I was like, thinking because I was like, I'm not getting or some shit. Like I don't know. It'd be so small. But that's, that's all you need, sir. Is a tattoo. Chris Pine. It has to look like Chris Pine. I'm gonna go to a really good tattoo artist, so he's gonna make it small ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you imagine the tattoo artist going. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a tattoo of Chris Pine. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> Yeah, you know the guy from Wonder Woman? And, dude, one of us would... He's in other movies, too, I know, but... One of us would have to hmm? pick the picture. Like, if I had to get the tattoo, you'd pick the picture of what I have to get. Of Chris Pine, right? Yeah. It'd be Chris, it'd be Chris Pine, um... I don't know. In the in the movie, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't know. Uh, he's been in a lot of movies, I feel like. But I, I don't know right now, because I, I don't know. As a joke? Not a... As a joke, I'd get Matt Damon tattooed on you because he thought it was Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, do, do they look the same, Matt Damon? Like, now I have to see what Matt Damon looks like. You know what? Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, pull up a picture of Matt Damon, guys. We're going to pull up a picture of Matt Damon. The only, we're, we're, we always remember Matt Damon from, like, Team America. Let's see what Matt... Okay, Let like, me see, guys. You guys should search it up, too, you know, if you're not driving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't he look doesn't like Chris really Pine, sir. Like, I know. Let me I see know. Matt Damon and Chris so, Pine. Yeah, does that come up? Do people like? Oh, I. Mmm. This one's. Hmm. I mean, look. What do you guys think? Search them up. Right? Tell us what you think. Like kinda, kinda, right? They're kinda. Like, oh, they, 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 they're, they look oh like, that's they're like, yo. Someone put Chris Pine. It's fucking Chris Hemsworth. Anyways. They're they're a little similar, there's a, there's but a, not there, that similar in a way. There's another actor um, that there's two actors that look like each other though. Um, I got them confused before. Uh, one's a Canadian actor, but the 
I don't know the guy's name, so I'm going to search the movie, and then I'll, I'll tell you their names in a second. So think of, talk about, talk about um, the never-ending story. The never-ending story? <laughs> what do you mean? What is that? What am I supposed to talk about? What never-ending uh, story? It's, it's, it's a movie, sir. It's a movie from the 80s. Right? I've never seen Fucker? that fucking movie, you bastard. You never watch it? It's like that big white dragon, this kid. I've never seen he's, it. He's, he's fl- and you watch Stranger Things? Do you say haven't watched Stranger Things? Never. We have a commentary track on our Patreon. Yeah, but did you see did you see the third season? Yes, I okay, yeah. They sing the song from the movie, Never Ending Story. I don't remember, it's been a long oh. time. I remember Ellen Ellen. Oh my god, Ellen, not Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> Ellen Eleven. She has no powers in that oh, one. Yeah. yeah. It's kinda got me down. I know, I felt so sad. I was too. Like, Eleven should be fucking picking up cars and throwing them what's she doing with no powers i know right it's a, it's a, it's definitely sad so justin yeah. we're on a professional podcast sir please remove your phone from yeah. the set i'm trying to get i'm <laughs> Just trying to get the fucking name. i know what you're trying to do <laughs> okay jason sadakis who jason D- sadakis and the fuck is that what's, what's the- Come on, you you know Jason Sudeikis. Bro, I'm not going names. Everyone, okay, there. guys, if you guys, since you guys are new, the guy in the, the guy in Meet the Millers. I am not good at all with names. Let me see a picture of him. I'm not good with names at all. Search it, search it. How, search how are you it. supposed to Sudeikis? Like what? Just search Jason S and it'll pop up Sudeikis. I don't even know how to say it properly. Sudeikis, Sudeikis. Jason Sudeikis. Oh, is, oh, yeah. I know Jason Sudeikis. Yeah, so he also, he, he kind of looks like a little bit like this other actor named Darren Rose. Jason Sudeikis, let me search. You guys just search. Well, Jason oh Sudeikis versus... And what's his name? Darren Rose. Darren Rose. Darren Rose. Darren Rose. Let me see if he looks like him. So Jason Sudeikis is the guy in Horrible Bosses, too. He's yeah. He's in a lot of movies. Okay. He looks like Darren Rose, kind of like Darren Rose, kind of looks like him. he's from Toronto. Darren Rose, or Canadian guy. Holy shit! There's like four guys right now that look alike. It's fucked me up. I don't know who's who, but I know who Jason Sudeikis is. <laughs> There's, I got a picture with like four people, and they all look the same. It's fucking tripped me out. Jason Sudeikis are four other people. <laughs> Anyways, Anyways yo, he, he's funny though. Meet the Bill is a really funny movie. Yeah. It's, it's See, cool. I'm not good with names. I miss, show, I miss, show me someone's face. I'm like, yeah, I know that bastard. I hope they release a lot more comedies. I really miss comedies like that, like really funny comedies. I do too. I admit. Oh man, but you know what? The problem is a lot of people are like sensitive now, right? So like, everyone's like gonna cry if they see something funny, right? You won't see too many comedies, guys, in the future. I hate to say Maybe, it. Yeah, cause I hate. To, I know people are sensitive now, right? People you cry s- and get mad and sad. You see on Twitter, you comedy, see right? comedy like comedians going, "Oh yeah, I agree, disagree with this," and they did a movie two years ago where. Yeah, they just don't want to get canceled. What it is, but like you can't get, can- you shouldn't be get canceled. If you're a comedian, like you're yeah, comedian. I know, it makes no sense. <sighs> yeah, but anyways, yeah, um, fuck, fuck, sir, what? I don't know. Um, uh, um, are we gonna talk about? Cause we are, we're getting, we're getting long in the podcast, guys. You know, it's, it's just, it's, 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 yeah. Maybe one day we'll have longer podcasts. But uh, should we still continue and talk about um, the blue sea? I'm just kidding. The Blue Lagoon. Oh, what? Okay, we yeah. You know what? We're getting lower on time there. Blue Lagoon. Near the end. Yeah. I want to see. Oh, actually, I want. I want Blue Lagoon to have save for next. But I want to talk about Blue Lagoon a lot. We'll save for next okay, podcast. Okay, yeah, true, true, guys. Blue Lagoon, both movies, especially the first movie. Get ready for this podcast, guys. The next one, <laughs> oh, Blue really? Lagoon. Yeah. Oh my God! It's the yeah. craziest movie. Oh, I can't. Get, I don't want you guys. Will, you have to listen to us. You have to listen to us. Holy shit. You hear that beeping? Beep, beep. Bob? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Holy shit, is that a... What the hell? <laughs> Justin, my leg! My leg! Ah! My... I think it's my arm. What's... What's attached to your hand? It's an arm, right? No, it's my toes. That makes no sense. I know I'm fucking dying. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>